Found another Dually Duramax. I had to park next to it, but that one is a LZ. You can tell by the blue badge on the side. It's a very, very clean Duramax. I'd like to have one of those, honestly, one day. But can't go wrong with the LB7 either. In the last video, we did five things we hate about this LB7 Duramax that I purchased. So in this video, let's go over some of the things I actually do like about this truck. The list isn't as long as the, the dislikes, but there's a reason why I purchased this vehicle. I'm going to get Alex and Mondo's reaction of the new whip of the LB7 Dually. Cat eye. Hey, you can match Matt. Well, he sold his now. No, you ain't got center caps. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's a little rough around the edges, but she's a 10-footer. Don't get too close. But it actually don't look that bad. I gotta replace the ABS wire. You can't get me. Boy, got the mud hogs on. Thank you. <laughs> Kanadi. Kanadi mud hog. Boy, the, the bronze mud hog? Yeah. You got trail hogs on the back. Oh, I got. You got different all, tires. Three, all three different tires. The inners are uh, ATs. <laughs> you got nittles on those. I at least got some nittles. I doubt they pay for nittles. No, I got not. another spare tire in here too. I got a Kanadi here. So I can swap out the Kanadi here for the trail hog. Well, this is a Kanadi too, but different um, tread pattern. How's the rod? Right, it's okay. You need to get your new stud. New what? Stud. Why? One stud's broken. Oh, you're right. There's a fit for the dualies too. Yep. You gotta pull the whole axle out. Yikes. That's doable. There's eight studs, so I'm okay with seven. It's an LT. So right now, these don't work. So I gotta figure that out. Is that the problem with the red, red truck too? Or was it intermittent? The red truck was intermittent, but I figured it out. I can't remember what it was. But this truck, it doesn't wanna open up these two windows. And I was told it was the regulator. But if it was the regulator, I don't know, it's just kind of coincidence that. Did the lock and lock work? Yeah. And then there's a diode running right there. So I don't know what that Ooh, diode that's is. probably what the problem is. Something with that. So I don't know why there's a diode. Ain't no telling. I figure maybe you might we'll have an idea. And look, this was the original paint color. What's with paint? Yeah, you can tell. I mean, look at oh, the yeah. look at that orange peel. And they painted it right over the the, the badges. And they just taped this off and then painted. You can tell. That don't look horrible though. Yeah. But I'm gonna wrap it. I know you like dualies. I do like dualies. You know it. I guess good. I already got Mondo and uh, Alex's reaction. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can dig it. Can you dig it? Yeah, I can dig. We're it. about to trade for a couple of days. Yeah, man. Give you the Cadillac. Oh, I'm getting the caddy. <laughs> and he's getting the. I get the be, cat eye. I get to be a do be in a dually again. I know, right? It looks good, man. Ain't too bad, not too shabby. Yeah. A little rough around the edges, but we it's it's a uh it's a project. It's trail. something we can work with. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Something you can build on. She got good bones. Well it ain't nothing like this one right here. This LBZ Duramax. This is his daily driver. He uh he keeps it clean. It's all it's bone stuff. Oh man, it is fully loaded in there. Yeah. SLT. Yeah, SLT right there. Original paint job. That's this is how you know it's an LBZ. Allison. Because it's blue. It, it's blue. Mm -hmm. and you see how this is like Duramax diesel red? Yeah. He uses it to tow his um, ditch wheel. Toy hauler, I think it is. They go. This thing still gets it, he said. He loves his truck. Nice. If he wants to tune it, let me know. We'll do. All right. Reason number one is that it is a classic body. And not only that, it's a, it's a cat eye. So I've owned 
let's see my first truck was an 05 GMC and then after that I bought a 04 and a half LOI GMC and then also bought a 2005 GMC LOI Duramax so I've had three of the this is called the NBS body style I've had three of them all in GMC and I've actually been wanting to buy a cat eye for a while now originally I've never liked the cat eyes I've always liked the GMC's I thought the GMC's rounder look looked better but over time this kind of sharp looking front end the headlights and everything and the cat eye is a slang for what people call the Chevy front end and over time I really grew to like it and I had some ideas on how I wanted to build a set of headlights for for these so I've always wanted the cat eyes and I was finally able to get my hands on uh, this OBS cat eye so number one thing I really like about this truck that I purchased is that it's a cat eye and if I couldn't find a cat eye I was actually at a point to a point where I was willing to buy a, a GMC front end and do a complete front end conversion so that was an option for me to do but I felt like that was gonna be kind of a waste of money just to buy a GMC and then swap out the whole front end parts to a, a Chevy but that wouldn't have been a bad idea because the uh, the shape that this front end is in i'm gonna have to buy a new bumper new grill and new uh, especially this fender because it's all janked up so i'm pretty much having to buy a whole new front end to swap out all these uh, crappy parts you know in the comments below what you guys think of the cat eye front end versus a gmc front end and also this is my first ever Chevy I purchased we have a whistling machine look at that the one and only that spool though yeah Devin's the one that took me to go get this truck he said I had to go get it good lord That is a Stealth 67 Turbo. If you guys want that turbo, head over to JW Motorsports Co. We have that turbo available. Now, where were we? All right. Reason number two of why I like this truck is that it is an LB7 Duramax. So it is a it is pre-emission. So no EGR, no DEF, nothing like that to mess up your truck. With the exception of the California model, it does have an EGR for the California version. Federal LB7, no, e no EGR. And you can see it right here, which means, which gives me a lot of freedom to do whatever I want to this truck because it was never uh, legally required and I'm not removing any emissions components on this truck. So I'm not really, I'm not breaking any laws by modifying this truck. So that is a that is one of the things I really like because as EPA has gotten stricter with emissions and a lot of people, tuners, shops, getting prison time or getting millions of dollars in fines, I don't want to go to jail. So having a vehicle that doesn't have emissions and the freedom to modify this truck and share with you guys, which gives me a lot of freedom. So that is one thing I really enjoy. I can openly tune this truck and share that with you guys on what tune I went with, whose tuning I went with, how I tuned it, blah blah blah. If I upgrade the turbo, I can upgrade the turbo and you know freely document everything. And if I want to do like compound setup or something like that, I can definitely do all that openly and not have to worry about it because in order to do a lot of that stuff on Duramaxes that are newer than LB7, you would be removing emissions components which is federally illegal and I could potentially get in trouble for that uh, just by documenting it uh, even though I'm not selling delete parts you can still get in trouble just because I am performing it and showing it online so that is something I went away from doing until a couple of years ago I was obviously making content about how to remove EGRs blah 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 but everything's gotten really really strict I stopped doing that and a lot of you guys have been like emailing me messaging me DMing me and stuff like that asking about how you can delete your truck and I personally have not been answering that and nor do I want to because I don't want to get in trouble 
but this truck's gonna require a lot of work I already know that because um, the guy who sold me this truck he claimed the turbo was rebuilt you can tell the turbo was never touched and he only had the truck for two weeks there's no way the turbo was rebuilt in two weeks and got this dirty he said him his uh, stepbrother or brother-in-law or whatever replaced the injectors two weeks ago or he said he replaced the injectors like 7,000 miles ago I don't know how you did that when you bought this truck two weeks ago so I have plans of on probably doing new injectors head gaskets turbo and all that good stuff to make sure this truck runs top-notch because it will be a tow rig and I need it to be as reliable as possible and we're probably gonna go do some like piping with it probably HSB piping all right so we're gonna do three things I like about this truck and the third thing I like about this truck is that it is a dually now in the last video I talked about it being a two-wheel drive and uh, that is the thing that I don't like because I've never had a two-wheel drive truck but with it being a dually it is going to be a really really nice tow rig and also being a dually it means it's an eight foot bed gives us a lot of space back here although it's ratchet we're gonna we're probably gonna bed line it make it look better but you can truly use this truck for what it's intended to do i can haul with this truck do yard work and be able to fit more lumber or or mulch or whatever the longer bed utilizes truck for a work truck and also with it being a dually I could probably haul something and feel a little bit safer and have more stability with the truck. And that's kind of one thing I like about being, it being a two-wheel drive. I plan on using this for towing, so don't really need the four-wheel drive. Um, that's also less parts to break, less parts to replace. As I mentioned in the other video, I'd replace the axle seal and that delayed the process of lifting this truck by a couple of days. So yeah, on that aspect, two-wheel drive is the way to go. And with that being a dually, it's going to be more stable and it's going to be nicer for us to tow with. All right. Flash completed successfully. Turn the ignition off. Whoop. It's not good. <laughs> 